Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to the Alley Enigma channel. And today is Friday the 13th. And if you guys didn't already see it, I made a Friday the 13th outfit of the day video. And I am now going to tell you a story. This is going to be a story time video. I'm going to tell you actually two stories in one video in honor of Friday the 13th. So, um, I just thought of two stories that were pretty horrible, I guess, in my opinion, to me, and traumatizing, so, um, we're gonna go, this first story, we're gonna rewind it back to when I was younger, it was my birthday, and I was either turning eight or nine years old, I can't remember exactly what year that was, a party at my parents' house, and I had a bunch of my little friends over, you know, we were having a little kid party, we did cake, we did presents, we were, we did the pinata, we were, like, playing outside, and you know, all that good little kid birthday party kind of stuff. So, later on, it was darker, because it was nighttime, and my mom says to me and my friends, she's like, I think I can hear, like, a kitten outside by the bushes. And there was these hedge bushes that were in between my house and my neighbor's house at the time. <clears throat> Losing my breath. And... So we went out and we were looking for a kitten and we were looking around these bushes and it's all dark and you know we don't think anything's gonna happen when all of a sudden this guy, literal full grown ass man in all black comes out of the bush and starts chasing my friends and I, literally chasing little kids and you know I did not expect that at all and I got like super freaked out and I started running, running, we're all running. I was running so fast that I can remember this moment like picture perfect. That I tripped and I went flying like a Superman kind of flying thing. And I didn't catch myself at all. I hit the ground and I kept sliding. So I was like sliding on my chest. And it was awful and it hurt a lot. And I, I was wearing like a white shirt and I ended up getting like grass stains all over that shit. But yeah, that was really awful. Thanks, Mom, for um, traumatizing your daughter on her birthday. But yeah, the, the guy that was dressed all in black was uh, our neighbor, and she set the whole prank up for me and my friends. And then everyone just laughed at me afterwards because I went flying like Superman and skidded across the grass. So yeah, that's my first story, and I thought that one was decently relevant to Friday the 13th because the guy dressed in black, it was terrifying, it was like a prank on me that just, I wasn't happy about it at all. I was so scared. I literally thought I was going to die. Literally thought I was going to die. And usually at that age you don't really have thoughts that you might die, so I mean it was pretty, pretty traumatizing for a little tiny, you know, kid. But... Now I look back at it and I think it's hilarious, though. But yeah, thanks, Mom, for the trauma. Thank you. Alright, second story. This one is a stalker story. Woohoo! Round of applause for all of the stalkers out there. Because we know so many YouTubers that have stalkers. And thankfully, we can vent about our stalkers on the internet. And um, tell our stories if anything. So this stalker wasn't exactly a stalker at first. At first I moved to the area, I went out to a local bar where, because this happened when I was just turning 21 I believe, 21 or 22, I can't exactly remember. But um, So I went out to this local bar where there was bands playing. I was new to the area so I wanted to meet some, you know, other musicians of the area. And there was like three different bands playing at the venue, and so I just went and watched. I was there with like one other friend. I was there with one other friend, and we were we just watched the music, had a couple drinks, had a good time, and I started meeting some of the guys from the bands, which was really cool because I kind of you know wanted to start networking with the other local um, musicians of the area. So I end up like meeting a lot of the musicians in the bands and I become friends with a couple of them and I continue to hang out with a few of them. 
but one of them in particular, um, we started hanging out and he started getting feelings for me. Go figure. It always turns out good when it's like that, right? So, uh, yeah. Started getting feelings for me and I was not interested in anything romantic from him at all. And it just got really awkward because literally I just wanted people to play music with. Like, I was not looking for anything romantic. And let me tell you how hard it is to be a female musician and try to find other dude musicians that actually take you seriously. Thankfully, I found quite a few now, and you guys know who you are, and I love you, I love my bandmates. My bandmates are the best, for sure. So thank you to all of my bandmates that actually took me seriously and um, gave me great memories. But anyways, back to the stalker guy. So, uh, he... Like, we would hang out as friends, and I just, you know, kept telling him no, 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 whatever. And, uh, like, we would go out and have drinks sometimes, and that's when it would start getting creepy, is when we'd just be hanging out and drinking and stuff, and he would start getting all, like, weird, and he would get all close to me and, like, try to kiss me. He was trying to kiss me at certain times, and there was literally moments where I had to push him off me saying no, and it took a lot of effort, like, to get that through his head, basically, and it really didn't. I think he was just kind of waiting till my mind changed, but, um, no, it was, it was bad because I definitely felt like I was being taken advantage of, for one, and, uh, he was just very relentless about that. So, somewhere else, and kept in contact with them, and then, um, when I moved into this apartment where I am right now, um, hung out with him like a couple times, didn't drink or anything, it, and uh, I would talk to him over Skype sometimes, and literally the couple of Skype conversations I had with him ended with him telling me that he loved me. And uh, that's fine if you love me, like I say I love you to my friends, my family, anybody like that. But with him, he was he was serious. Like, he wanted me to be in a relationship with him, and he loved me in a very serious way, which I did not want from him, ever. And so I basically kind of blocked him from everything on social media, and um, just stopped talking to him. And he got really, like, upset by that, and he would call me over and over and over and over and over. And he got to the point where he was threatening suicide and saying, like, that he was going to do that. And basically, it came down to the point where I had to call the cops on him to get him to stop contacting me. And they had to do a wellness check also for him for the suicide. Because even though he's just a weird person that I just want nothing to do with anymore that he, you know, shouldn't kill himself, nobody should kill themselves, that just, it just shouldn't happen, so, um, anyways, called the cops on him, and he stopped trying to contact me, but he continuously showed up to where I worked, and, uh, I worked at Jimmy John's for a little while, and I was working in the drive-thru, and he would come through the drive-thru a lot, like, at least once a week. So that was really weird because like he would still try to see me or talk to me in any way that he could and um, every time that I took his order and he pulled up to the window I definitely had somebody else hand him his sandwich and like you know when he had to pay like take the money from him because I literally did not want to see him, didn't want to talk to him and luckily my coworkers were fine with that and they kind of helped me out with that so that was cool but not cool that he kept doing that kept lingering around in my life do you guys out there ever have like certain people that just kind of linger around in your life because they just want to see what you're doing or like they're just like nosy to see to judge you or anything really like just I, I randomly have like people that linger around in my life a lot of dudes waiting for chances, which aren't going to happen because, ugh, why? 
and um, so still. Oh, let me add one more thing. Um, so when my band played the first show, our first show ever as a full band, um, we played at the small venue, and we were opening, and his band was also on the ticket that night, so his band was playing later on after us, and uh, my bandmate and I had talked to the, a couple of the other guys from the band. Well, we may not make it to your set, but I hope you have a good show being, you know, so genuine and sweet like that they're not going to make it. But, you know, hopefully you have a good show. So we're like, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. As soon as we get into the venue, like literally, we were the first band to play. And as soon as we walk through those back doors to load in our gear, guess who was there? All the guys from that band. They were all there before us. And when we got up on stage to play our show, guess who was right in the front row? Yeah, the dude, the stalker dude, just watching me. And he looked like he was probably already drunk because he was just rocking out and he looked like he was having a good time. But yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I see how this is. You're going to say, oh, we're, we're probably not going to make it. And then they're there right before we play and right when we walk into the doors and I was just like, ah, you guys are fucking hilarious. But thanks for, for watching our set. It was great. So glad you were there. But yeah, ever since then, um, I mean, we've been, my bandmate and I have been pretty decent friends with a couple of them from the band, but that one particular person from the band, no, just done, donezo. And I feel like maybe he would be watching these videos still because he just seems like one of those stalker kind of guys that just pops back up in your life every now and then. I know he's trying to like, um add me on something I don't even remember but I wouldn't be surprised so tell me your stalker stories down below or tell me any other scary stories that you have I would love to hear them in the comments and yeah if you guys can relate to any of that stuff I'd love to hear it it's always nice to hear about other people's stories so then I don't feel as alone and that I'm not the only one going through this so yeah that is my story time and Give it a big thumbs up if you want more story times. I know that people like story times a lot. I love story times. I love watching them. I could watch them all day. And that's really sad. But I fucking love YouTube. I watch YouTube more than regular TV. And that's just what I do. And I know there's a lot of other YouTubers out there. And that is why we're here. So, yeah. Happy Friday the 13th. Love all of you guys. You guys are the best subscribers ever. Ever, ever, ever. You guys are amazing. And awesome. And beautiful. And wonderful. 